South Carolina will be starting their tournament run short by two players due to a suspension and a player stepping away from the team today. A South Carolina freshman forward has entered the transfer portal right before the national tournament is set to begin. Jaw was suspended in February for conduct detrimental to the team, and Staley would not give more details about the suspension, saying the player could work her way back onto the team. After hearing that, it didn't seem promising that Dawn wanted her back on the team, and she likely would not have played for the rest of the season. Instead of taking her punishment, Ja notified the team that she would be entering the transfer portal. It is unknown what she did to warrant an indefinite suspension, but one thing about Dawn is that she will not handle nonsense. Staley announced her latest move Monday and made a statement. It is unfortunate that her time with us was short, but we wish her the best in the next steps of her career. Some coaches, such as Connecticut's coach, have been very critical of players using the transfer portal. Many coaches in college basketball and football oppose the transfer portal, and they think it causes players to avoid accountability. Instead of working on themselves, players know that they can leave any time and go play for a coach that will tolerate their lack of discipline. I personally think that the portal has pros and cons and is a good option for players that aren't receiving enough minutes because of the depth of talent on a roster. However, I don't think that it is beneficial for players to bounce between teams because they want to avoid accountability. Ja is a six-foot forward from Alexandria, Virginia, who was ranked as a top prospect in last year's class. She appeared in 16 games, averaging 3.1 points and 2.0 rebounds this season. She didn't get many minutes in her short time playing for South Carolina this season, and when she did play, she wasn't very impressive. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you think South Carolina has more team drama than what we know about? Could South Carolina face their first loss of the season this month?